Welcome back. The Children's Movement is a network of residents from diverse backgrounds and places working together to improve outcomes for children by championing policies that advance equity and justice across Fresno County. So joining us now is Michael Espinoza, Executive Director of the Children's Movement, and we also have Carmen Zamora, Director of Organizing and Leadership Development. So thank you guys so much for being here with us today. It is a rare day when I speak to somebody from the community that I've never spoken to before. So thanks so much for bringing us your organization. So tell us what the children's movement is, who you are, what you do. Well, we are a nonprofit organization, and thank you for the invitation, by the way. Absolutely. We're, we're excited to be here. Uh, we're a nonprofit organization uh, based in Fresno County, and we are all about bringing people together. Uh, bringing people together to talk about what we know is one of our most valuable resources in the region, which is our children. Yes. Uh, so many parents, uh, uh, educators, uh, 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 healthcare professionals, we all care about the health and well wellness of our children. We also want to have uh, ensure that children are the center of every policy decision made in this county. Right, because sometimes, you know, policymakers, maybe they don't have kids or their kids are grown or, you know, they haven't thought about how a policy might affect children in a really long time because it's just not a part of their daily lives who are what is the makeup of your organization do you have members do you have board members how is the organization structured we've actually got a really star-studded uh, uh, board uh, with uh, Wendy McCulley who is our board chair she is the executive director of uh, the foundation for Fresno Unified uh, Antoinette Tayak who is the the public defender for Fresno County mm -hmm. amongst uh, several other Courtney Shapiro who uh, is uh, the, the dynamo behind uh, Cal Viva Health um, so so many uh, different folks at that level but the real stars and the real center, the real heart of our work at the Children's Movement are our everyday residents, parents, moms, dads, who uh, youth, uh, yeah. some of the young folks that, that want to just do community organizing. They That's great. That is such a great opportunity. I always love when we can talk about organizations where you can donate your time and people will say where, where they need the most uh, hours and volunteers. So you guys have an event coming up, the 10th annual State of Our Children's Breakfast. So tell me about this event. Well, we've got, so this is our annual breakfast. Okay. Um, the, from what I know, uh, in the attending years past, the candy bacon is off the, <laughs> off the hook. Uh, uh, but it's, this is a chance to, to join with 650 other champions for children around the county, uh, 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 from superintendents to uh, classroom, uh, some classroom teachers yeah. get, get the time off oh, to yeah. come out to the breakfast. <laughs> uh, a lot of parents and, and students, uh, hospital uh, uh, staff, uh, it's a real big mix. Uh, Carmen's been to uh, some in the past. Yes, just a different CBOs. It's really beautiful because you see everybody from different sectors, uh, from like Mike said, education, health, you know, just everyday uh, families. Uh, so it's something really beautiful to see how we're coming together and just listening to different stories and experiences, um, of, you know, having to do with our kids um, in our county. Um, it's a really beautiful thing to, to come together and uh, talk about all the work that's being done. Yeah. What is the goal of this day? Is the goal to talk about where your organization is and what your goals are? Or is the goal to talk about where our children are currently and what we might be able to do to get them to another place. Well, it certainly is what it sounds like, the state of our children. We're going to be presenting some, some key facts and figures on, on where uh, some of the big challenge areas. Yeah. Uh, some, you know, after the pandemic, absentee, chronic absenteeism is through mm -hmm. the roof. So we've got a big job on our hands to make sure that schools are supported to get those kids back into classrooms where they can learn, uh, right? Uh, we're also talking about children's health. We're also, uh, I think, also lifting up some of the success areas. Sure. You know, Fresno County's got a fantastic fantastic track record of collaboration between sectors. Oh yeah. Where hospital leaders, healthcare leaders yeah. are talking to the school leaders and they're they're trying to support and, and work and, and, and save as many kids yes. as they can. Sometimes it's so easy to point out, okay, well, here's where we're falling short and we forget yeah. to say, okay, here's what we're doing really well. So let's not forget about, about that. Come, we're coming up on a new school year. So if you had to say one thing to parents or guardians or to students out there, to teachers, what might you say to them 
them as we head into a new school year? Most definitely, I would tell families, um, and I have a lot of experience working with families, is build a relationship with your child's teacher. Um, that is the most important thing to do uh, so that you're working together as a team uh, to figure out right how you're going to best support your student. And that way the teacher can also learn what is it, what are mm -hmm. those challenges that the student is facing. I mean, we know right now that a lot of our kiddos are struggling when it comes to reading, when it comes to math. So it is very important for us as parents to to build that relationship to find out how you know how do we know if our kids are on grade level yeah um, in Fresno Unified they use a platform called called Atlas so it's really important um, for as a parent for you to know how to navigate um, that so that you can see is my kid really um, on grade level when you look at their uh, state assessments yes at it at any grade level having a good relationship with your instructor with your teacher is always good because everybody learns differently and we're all on different paces so that's that's great information. That's great insight. Thank you all so much, Michael and Carmen. Thank you so much for being here today. We will have all the information about uh, their organization online. Thank you so much. Thank you for Thank the invite. You.